Hello and welcome to Edge Shavers Worldwide. My name is Peter and welcome to another Sunday Shave. So, for today we are going to use uh, cheaper stuff, all cheaper stuff except for the razor. Uh, yeah, uh, so for today we are going to use Williams Arase. It's hot today, so this cream has a little bit of menthol in it, so it, it will be really good to use for this Sunday. And uh, of course, like it is a Williams shave, I'm going to use, to match with, Williams Aftershave Splash, okay? That's my, my aftershave. Uh, since I don't have the balm for Williams and I don't really know if there is some out there, I didn't search for it, so it's okay. Uh, but I will replace it for Leah Balm. It has menthol, so it will be fresh. Fresh, fresh, fresh. And especially for this uh, shave, I will be using Parker Variant. And I will show you in this video uh, which uh, settings I use to prevent my, my shave to be nicking myself. And yeah, so this is important. So the razor is uh, presented and I will show you the, the blade of which I'm going to use, which is Gillette uh, King C uh, blade. A nice blade, five euros for a pack. It's not, uh, it's not cheap, but uh, it is what it is. I will be using my soaker, my marble cup, and this is a good marble cup where I soak my brushes and I will put to the service my uh, fake badger brush. This is a more a synthetic, but it's, a, a, it's a faking a, a badger brush, uh, which is losing a lot of hairs. I will be soaking this uh, for a good 10 minutes and uh, to go to uh, making my ladder. And of course, I will use, as usual, my uh, ceramic uh, bowl, uh, Captain Choice style, not from Captain Choice at all, it's made in China, it's cheap, okay, so I bought it online too. So that's the hardware for today, uh, but we are going to make a small uh, section here, talking about the the beauty of uh, adjustable razors on the shave and uh, we are going to our living room to explain the differences between uh, for example that particular razor for a, a standard butterfly but not adjustable uh, not adjustable razor and of course the difference between shaving uh, creams which they are different and the prices are different and so we are going to talk about from this to for example Parasso Red okay that's it then we will come back to the den making our ladder uh, from the Williams and then we uh, go for the shave so let's go uh, first to our living room to talk about this don't go away Okay, so there's the beauty of shaving with this type of creams. So I talked in the beginning of the video, the RDR, what I'm going to use. So I'm going to use uh, Williams Crema Rasé. Of course, this uh, is a thicker, no, sorry, it's a thinner, uh, it's a thinner uh, cream uh, compared to this. So this is thicker, so it gives you more protection than this one. So the beauty is when you, when you use a Parker 99R, for example, it's more, it's more uh, acceptable to use this one because this is an aggressive razor. So this will, this will protect you more, okay? More than this. So when you come to the Parker variant or another adjustable razor, you can, uh, you can dial up, up or down the, the setting of the blaze exposure. 
so with this you can go higher or with this you can go uh, lower on setting so i'm going to explain you how can you adjust and how the razor works and how do you see the the um, the exposure going up or down and uh, uh, how can you feel more and less the blade on your face so let's see this so this is the razor okay and you can see there's a dot over here where you can align the top and the base so this is the exposure and this is the setting where is it this is the setting over here so you can see up or down so when i go up until three four five which is the 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 setting higher you can see the blade is all exposure here and the and the top cap is higher okay then if you go low until the minimum if you want to compare this you can see one now you can see the blade is less exposed to the protection bar of here so that's the uh, that's the uh, main procedure you do and the less the the setting so it's less the it's less the um, the, the percentage uh, you have to nick yourself okay on the face that's it so there you have it that's the big difference when you shave with this razor uh, even below the neck you have less you have less percentage to nick yourself and uh, get some bl uh, blood over here on that uh, uh, sensitive spots like me near the the, the the adam's apple okay so if you want to work on the safe side lower settings for me too is enough with this if you want to go up three or four if you go to this for me two is enough okay that's the main difference of this so let's go to the shaving den again and let's do the ladder uh well as since we are going to go to the den well uh i will uh, welcome dan and uh i hope he's really nice and powerful this uh, sunday and uh, he's going to comment our the rest of our video okay so let's get go to this and then we i'm going to talk uh, again in the end uh to close the video so let's go to the to the bathroom or our den shall we hello peter thank you to have me aboard yeah i am powerful as steel wrist sunday so peter thought to avoid to record the building the lather footage we have to shorten the video as possible he built the lather already and we are ready to start our shave now he is doing his face lather so he's not using any pre-shave then he has to spend some time exfoliating his face with the shaving brush this cream is thinner so no protection to the skin must use a lower setting on that parker variant usually peter shaves on setting two to start with now he's painting to smooth it out the lather she must get even on all face for good coverage Pete is adjusting to setting too. Everything is set and prepared. 
Let's begin shaving with the grain. Peter is comfortable with this razor, so he performs larger strokes, which is much faster to do this first pass. Peter barely feels the blade, but that doesn't mean he doesn't cut itself. Mold razors gives you the trust to go faster, but sometimes the razor can betray you, so stay alert all times. Shaving the moustache, and this first pass is done. Have you ever cut yourself with a mild razor? Well, to tell you the truth, I did it already. Yeah, it was when I start to learn wet shaving techniques. And yes, I don't shave as good as Peter. I am a real beginner on this matter. Okay, let's face lather again. Now in this second pass we're doing across the grain. The bulk of the whiskers were gone already. We are going to catch beard that could be left behind. Sometimes beard that grows in different directions. Sometimes shaving across the grain avoids us to do touch-ups in the end of our shave. Okay, across the grain to start with, Peter sometimes shave into directions, I mean from the mouth to the ear, and then the opposite direction, that grows the chance to grab the mist whiskers. He strek his cheeks to flat his chin, so he can effectively shave as close as possible. His beard on the chin is stronger and harder to shave. Mustache is shaved sideways as well. With this razor, he doesn't have to worry about blade overhang. On the neck, Peter shaves in the same procedures. He shaves into directions. Beard on the Adam's apple is hard to remove. Sometimes he left some Velcro in that area. Almost done, Peter is not happy, he is going to re-lather and perform a third pass. At this stage, he doesn't need much lather. Most of the whiskers are gone. He's going to remove all the Velcro. Third pass will give you that glass finish. Now Peter is going to adjust the setting one. 
that is good enough to remove something the razor has missed so far. In this final pass Peter is going against the grain. This going to be a hell of a shave. You can bet on that. As you can see, no nicks or cuts at this stage. This shave is being safer, no blood right. Neck is done, let's shave the chicks. Okay. I was wrong. Peter cut himself. That's a beginner stuff Peter. How could you? Peter is going to salvage the remain lava. Don't throw this stuff away guys. This is good to to a face wash. It's good to clean the skin after your shave. Let the lather sit on your face, while you clean your hardware. In the end your skin will be like silk. After reanch your face, now it's time to the post shave. Let's apply Williams aftershave splash. It's mentholated. Your face will be cold and nice. Now we are going to moisturizing our skin. The aftershave bomb mentholated will boost up the cold feeling. Look how smooth that skin really is. That is BBS gentlemen's. That's perfect. And this is the final result. Thank you for comment your shave Peter, it was a pleasure. 
Now, returning back to Peter, thank you all. So here you have it. Uh, a really nice shave. Even so, I realized I just nicked myself. Okay, even on setting one. What I just said to you. Setting one reduces the reduces the the, poss the possibility to nick yourself. Even even so, for you to see my 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 uh, skin is so sensitive sometimes. Not all, but even so, I cut myself here and there. So. It depends on the on the blade you use. It depends on the on the cream you use or soap. It depends on everything. So let me just apply just a little here and here. So a little bit of water, not much, just to seal this. Just these two spots, the rest of the face, just perfect. As you can see, that's the blade. That's the blade I use that is, uh, or is a little bit medium and uh, sometimes in the year it gets like this. So I really hope you have enjoyed it. So let's recap. I started with the Parker variant on the setting 2 for uh, with the grain, across the grain and setting 1 on the grains to grain and Gillette King C the blade I used my soaker I just soaked my brush Temu has uh, and I just made my ladder on the Captain Choice style ceramic I, I decided not to to film uh, building the ladder as Dan said in the comments because uh, I want to shorten the video a little bit more uh, even sometimes it's not possible <laughs> okay and that's it so uh, William splash aftershave and uh, oh god just felt and uh, Clear balm, okay, mental. And yes, alum because it came to the rescue. And I didn't, and I did talk about it in the beginning, but I used my mist just to vaporize my my uh, my face with water because it's better, okay. It's better to 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 just go to rinses and everything. It was nice to to prepare my face to 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 shave. So guys. I really hope you have enjoyed it and enjoyed that small explanation that I made in the in my living room. Uh, well, I guess we will see you again in the in the next Sunday. So until then, take care and stay well. Excellent shapes for you guys. Bye bye.